Hello class and welcome back to Radio 2. I'm hoping that the public holiday treated you well. So we're doing this lesson in particular because of the public holiday. So there is a certain group of students that couldn't attend this class. So that's why we made this recording. This is lesson 63 of the 84 lessons that we're going to be having together. And this is part seven of nine. We're going to be chatting strategies and that you can find on pages 223 to 226 in your next level radio textbook. Let's get straight into it. Execution. In executing a promotion, it's important to keep in mind the purpose of promotions to entertain the passive listener and get them listening longer and talking about the content to engage the radio contest and research participants to get them playing along and therefore listening longer and talking about the content to create platforms of engagement for brands as well as advertisers these three stakeholders the passive listener the participants and the advertisers will inform the execution process. Tease or a throw forward. All good promotions need to be teased or promoted by the presenter. The tease needs to get listeners interested to either listen or to participate in the promotion. And it needs to give the advertisers space to highlight their brand. It's a promise to the listener that what they're about to hear is worth their time and effort and convince them that they should keep listening because the promotion is of value to them. The promise will look different for both. Let's look at the listening stakeholders. The passive listener who will stay to be entertained and then the active listeners who is hoping to participate in the contest. The promise, the tease, the throw forward, which are different terms you can use that mean the same thing, for the passive listener needs to highlight the FUBI part of the promotion. We've done FUBI in great detail, also taking in mind that there is an extra B added to it. Right? So what does the F stand for? It says that the content must be fun or funny. What does the letter U stand for? It says that the content needs to be useful. The first B in FUBI says that the content needs to be beautiful. The second B says it needs to be bold. And the I in FUBI says that the content needs to inspire us. The promise tease throw forward should convince the passive listener that the promotion will be fun or funny to listen to, useful to them, bold, daring and different, a beautiful piece of audio, or that it will inspire them. Once this promise has been made, it is the presenter's job to make sure that the execution of the promotion lives up to this promise and creates the emotive response that will keep the listener engaged or get them talking about the promotion. When we spoke about teasers and throw forwards in our previous lessons, we mentioned that a tease or a promise is very important. And if you're going to have a brilliant tease or promise, you need to make sure that you live up to the listener's expectations and do not promise something you actually cannot deliver. You are then playing on the loyalty of the listener. For the active listener, the promise is an explanation of the mechanics of the promotion, along with simple instructions on how to enter. The execution of the winning moment. This is the moment that the promise is teasing towards the execution of the promise. Presenters are now performing for only the passive listener. The active listener is either playing the game and is fully engaged as a player, or they have been a passive listener who has to now listen to the others playing the game. The emphasis will be on the listener who is not playing the game actively, but is listening in. In executing promotions, it is the presenter's job to keep listeners engaged using every FUBI tactic the promotion was designed for. They should also prepare the winning moment and the throw forward for the next time the promotion is executed. Presenters need to focus on making the winning moment special. This is to ensure that the winner feels valued and that they will want to tell all their friends and social media connections how well they've been treated by the radio station and the advertisers. 
Winners become prominent ambassadors for the brand and they need to be looked after. In commercial radio, if the promotion has a sponsor, partner or brand attached to it, that brand must be positioned as the hero of the execution. It is important to make sure the brand reaches its objectives of obtaining excellent audience participation on air to build brand awareness, embedding brand messages into the radio content. Highlighting new products or product launches that like we mentioned in the previous lesson, effectively communicating short term objectives, creating a strong positive brand association, directing listeners to a clear point of purchase, convincing them to buy their products or service. These objectives need to be met in order for the promotion to be seen as a success for a brand or the advertiser. The success of a promotion is always as a result of proper preparation. Let's look at the strategies. The following example shows a strategy for creating effective promotions that was written for a South African commercial radio station. The aim is simply to entertain the passive listener, engage the radio contest and research participants, increase digital interactions and increase listenership. This example you can find in your textbooks, example 6C on page 224. Let's take a look at this example. Example 6C, 2018, the ultimate cum builder. XFM programming wants to avoid basic promotions that are based on call-in contests that only entice tuned in listeners to keep listening for longer. Instead, we want to use our database to drive tune-in, which will drive up our comb. XFM has access to three databases. One, the XFM app database, which has 70K following, plus SMS email database of 20K. The XFM Twitter community has 978.7K following. The XFM Facebook community or Instagram database is 332K and 68K. Each week of the promotion, XFM Programming wants to use one of these databases to push tune-in by sending specific inside information to each database to give members of each database information on when to tune in and what to listen out for. The aim is to get listeners to tune in at specific times. Hopefully, this will drive tune-in and help with recall for daily respondents. Prizes, three all-inclusive African experiences and one New Year's Eve in New York experience. Week one, promotions that generate excitement around the prizes and drive joining of the databases. Potential messaging, win big with XFM. Get the inside info on how to enter by downloading our app or joining us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Where does this happen? On all the shows. Week two, the app, SMS, and email database. Promotions that hype up the prizes and drive app downloads. Potential messaging. Win big with XFM. Make sure your push notifications for your XFM app are on if you want to get inside info on how to win. The mechanic. XFM app users will receive a push notification on the morning or day of the promotion, telling them to open the app competitions page for details about the opportunities to win. This message will detail what time to tune in and what to listen out for. The shows, one execution per day will occur at any time between 6 in the morning and 10 in the evening. The listener must wait for a specific comical or slapstick sound effect that they learned about throughout the digital clue. When they hear it, they must then call in to claim their place in the draw. Winner. One winner per day will be entered into the draw. Friday draw. All finalists are played in the draw and one name will be drawn. This winner can either take the African experience or choose to go into the final week's draw for the New Year's Eve experience. If they choose the African experience, the presenter must draw another name. The individual drawn is then entered into the New Year's Eve final draw. If they choose to be a finalist in the New Year's Eve draw, the presenters will draw another name. 
This individual then wins the African experience. Week three, Twitter community. Promotion to generate excitement around the prizes and drive Twitter following. Potential messaging. Win big with XFM. Make sure you follow us on Twitter to get inside info on how to win. Mechanic. XFM will tweet on the morning or day of the promotion with details about the time to tune in and what to listen out for. The shows. One execution per day, anytime between 6 in the morning and 10 in the evening. The listener will listen out for a specific comical or slapstick sound effect that they learned about through the digital clue. When they hear it, they must then call in to claim their place in the draw. The winner, one winner per day will be entered into the draw. The Friday draw, all finalists are placed in the draw and one name will be drawn. This winner can either take the African experience or choose to go into the final week's draw for the New Year's Eve experience. If they choose the African experience, the presenters must draw another name. The individual drawn is then entered into the New Year's Eve final draw. If they choose to be a finalist in the New Year's Eve draw, the presenters will draw another name. This individual then wins the African experience. Week four, Facebook and Instagram community. Promotions to generate excitement around the prize and drive Facebook and Instagram following. Potential messaging. Win big with XFM. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram to get inside info on how to win. XFM's Facebook and Instagram accounts will post on the morning or day of the promotion with details about the time to tune in and what to listen out for. The shows, one execution per day, anytime between 6 in the morning and 10 in the evening. The listener listens out for a specific comical or slapstick sound effect that they learned about through the digital clue. When they hear it, they must then call in to claim their place in the draw. Winner, one winner per day will be entered into the draw. The Friday draw, all finalists are placed in the draw and one name will be drawn. The winner can either take the African experience or choose to go into the final week's draw for the New Year's Eve experience. If they choose the African experience, the presenters must draw another name. The individual drawn is then entered into the New Year's Eve final draw. If they choose to be finalists in the New Year's Eve draw, the presenters will draw another name. This individual then wins the African experience. Week five, final draw. Monday morning, one wildcard winner will be entered into the competition with inside information posted on all platforms. Execution takes place on Monday on the afternoon drive. Tuesday morning, one of the four finalists will be the winners of the New Year's Eve prize. From reading this example, what you need to take away from it is how meticulous they were in the execution of this particular promotion. There was a lot of repetition, which needs to be highlighted and indicated so that nobody makes mistakes. So preparation is key. And you can tell in this example that preparation was everything. Let's look at a case study to show different strategies that one can use to build a radio promotion. We've done that with example 6C. What is the difference between CUM and TSL Builder? That you can find in your Beyond Powerful Radio textbook on page 52 and 53. How will you use promotions to build app downloads, a Twitter community, as well as a Facebook or Instagram community? What is the difference between CUM and TSL Builder? CUM indicates the total number of different people a station reaches in a given period. Time spent listening, which is TSL, indicates how long a panelist is exposed to a station in a given time frame. CUM is short for cumulative audience. It is the number of different persons who listen to a station for during any time period. CUM represents a station's total reach. TSL is defined as the amount of time the average listener surveyed spent listening to each radio station at one time before changing the station or turning it off. Time spent listening is also known as average hours tuned. And how you calculate that is by taking the total hours tuned in and you divide it by your call. In the next lesson, we will continue looking at promotions. We're almost at the end of it. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me in our Radio 2 WhatsApp group, or you can send me a direct message. Alternatively, you can send me an email at nontlantlak at boston.co.za. Otherwise, for me, it's over and out.